Ashes of Creation. It's probably an MMORPG that everybody that follows the MMORPG genre knows about. It's a massive MMO coming out. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> Uh, but there's been a lot of anticipation and hype around this game and recently uh, they made uh, a new announcement regarding some alpha keys and this was a lot of like community outrage and questions from the community so let's jump into it and see what it was it's all about so uh, ashes of creation uh, I haven't covered uh, ashes of creation yet because I actually want to see proper content before I actually made any videos on this uh, game but now I decided to buy the key yeah, I decided to buy the key. It cost me $120. Can you guys believe that? $120 for beta testing and alpha testing. That is insanity, bro. Uh, I've seen a lot of posts on Reddit and stuff calling it like ashes of scam or scam of creation, all this stuff, okay? And I'm gonna be honest, uh, charging this much money for uh, betas and stuff is insane. Yes, it now uh, when they first released the keys, they it was just, they were just charging uh, this money for alpha. But now, uh, since of a lot of complaint from players and people, uh, they decided to add more stuff. So now you get alpha tests the last a few days. You get the beta test. Probably this beta test is gonna be in 2017. Who knows? 2040. Not even sure if I will be alive by the time it comes out. Maybe I can give the keys to my children or something, and they can test out the game. And again, one month of game time. So it seems like they're rolling a subscription-based game. So I'll get for one twenty dollars. I get a fifteen dollar value for one month of the game. And then you get fifteen embers. Now it says in-game marketplace credits, but no pay to win. How does that even work? What is, does that even mean? Okay, obviously if they're saying no pay to win, I expected no pay to win. Maybe you can spend it on like other items that aren't pay to win, who knows? But yeah, they're saying no pay to win. But uh, yeah, so these are the bundles. So the first bundle right here, which I bought is actually starting November 8th. So I will be streaming and playing Ash of Creation, checking it out on November 8th. And then the next bundle that you can buy, which is a little bit cheaper. This one is only 110. The other one's 120. This one is only $110, guys. And this one starts on December 20th. I think this one is a longer one. Because uh, I think this is just a weekend one. And then this one is a little bit longer. And then the third bundle is on the May 1st, 2025. So the alpha, we already can tell that the beta ain't releasing anytime soon. Or the game isn't releasing anytime soon. But these are the bundles. This one is only $100, guys. $100 for testing. Now, I'm going to be honest. Back, like... I feel like us testing the game for them, you know, giving their feedback and stuff, like this is something that they should be happy for. They shouldn't charge money for it. But hey, you know, what do I know, bro? This is uh, this is crazy. But yeah, I, I bought it. You guys don't have to buy it. Uh, it's just not a promotion or anything. I would highly advise you guys not to buy this. And the reason for that is we don't know when it's releasing. I would say like, hey, if Ashes Creation is releasing uh, early 2025, hey, maybe check out the bundle, maybe check it out. But we don't know. You don't know if it's releasing in 2025, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You don't know where you're going to be in 2030, okay? Spending $100 for it is insanity. So the best way to do is, uh, you know, just watch uh, dumb streamers like me paying the money for it because, you know, we kind of have to. Uh, to play these games so we're gonna be spending uh, the one to uh, money so you guys can see uh, basically what the game is all about now it's gonna be alpha test so of course there's gonna be a lot of i already seen a little bit of the game uh the game i mean it looks it doesn't look anything wow yet but what they promised in the game looks pretty cool there's a lot of cool uh, features uh in the game so it's gonna be interesting i'm kind of uh so the really cool also thing about the game guys is it's a western release there's been so many games mmos especially that have been eastern uh games like if you look at every single mmo the past years the big mmos uh we have like taris land from china we have uh, uh what do you call it lost ark from korea we have thrown a liberty from korea all these games have been eastern made games we're finally getting a proper big mmo from west uh of course that means that uh, it's going to be probably more expensive that's probably why they're charging us a hundred dollars per keys but uh yeah that is uh, what ashes creation is now 
Uh, let's look at some of the key features of this game because I know I haven't covered this game yet, but just so you guys know a little bit more about the game, what Ashes Creation is all about. So right here, we have a risk versus reward thing. Uh, all across the area, you have an opportunity to experience massive warfare, participate in epic trade caravans and gather valuable components to craft exclusive items not only will your fellow players be your own adversaries the creature of the land and the very environment itself will pose a constant and fresh challenge uh, will you siege castles to become royalty defeat other guilds to showcase your prowess shape the marketplace by being a successful trader uh, or er earn a renown by developing your artistic crafting skills so basically a very dynamic world you can choose what you want to do in the game you can become a craftsman you can become uh you know you can fight other guilds you can siege castles so it's going to be a lot of things happening constantly a lot of new uh uh the game will always be like evolving which is really cool a proper open world uh it, i think it's a sandbox mmo right uh theme park i'm not sure no, it's sandbox not theme park Ashes Creation is a unique take on MMORPG experience. Our world structure is dynamic and built to react to your actions. Cities will rise and fall as you shape the world of Vera. Quests and secrets will unlock as populations gather and their needs grow. Uh, as the world's NPC structure is established in real time, you will have the ability to destroy what's been created, paving the way of your new developments, population change. So again, constantly changing, you can destroy uh, stuff, you can build new stuff. Uh, I really like the concept of it. I think, I think Raven Dawn tried to do something similar uh, to this, but it's a whole different graphic system, right? Of course. Uh, but yeah, let's look at some of the media of this. Uh, there's been some videos and stuff, but overall, I think the, uh, the game, it doesn't look anything like crazy amazing. It looks good. I'm not going to lie. It does look good. These pictures and stuff. Uh, this is early alpha too. We don't know how the game is going to look on actual launch. Probably look even better. But the main reason people are excited for this is what they're promising, right? They're, uh, they're promising a lot of cool features, a lot of new things uh, that we've been missing in MMORPGs that we've been asking for, for in many MMOs that we play till this day. We've been asking for a lot of this stuff and they're actually trying to deliver on it, right? So it's a very exciting project. I think if it releases, when it releases, uh it can do really good but with all these like alpha keys all these waiting time uh i think the uh it's kind of killing the hype of the game uh because it's never good having like drama surrounding your game uh you know making people wait uh it, i think uh, but overall if they deliver on what they're saying they're gonna do i think the game will be really good i'm excited to play it i'm definitely gonna be checking out the alpha now since i, I mean i kind of have to guys i kind of have to check it out i paid pay 120 bucks you know i kind of have to check it out you know <laughs> nothing more you can do let's see here what is this development update stuff you can uh bar type architect preview oh so you have to i kind of want to see okay, this so quick preface obviously everything you're going to see okay let's see off but this is how the, the game kind of looks and it is a good as you can see it is a good looking bard right now. This armor I mean, set for the, Alpha. Uh, what is the name of this armor set? This is the I'm not gonna lie. For Alpha, this doesn't look bad. Right? Like the graphics will obviously get bigger. It's too like you can choose between different races. Seems a lot of customization options. The game doesn't look bad. A lot of skills to use too. Oh my god, that's gonna be we're gonna have macros and stuff. And the UI kind of looks outdated, but of course they'll probably polish that. But this is basically how the game will look, right? It's like skill trees that they have in the game. Uh a lot of different uh let's see we have like a little bit of movement Ooh, some skills showing of the game so this is basically the current alpha alpha early alpha build of the game it seems like a lot you're gonna have a bunch of skills like you used to from if you've been playing big mmos uh with a lot of like th this is the vibe they're going for like a bunch of skills a massive open world uh this guy is a healer bard of course so holy trinity uh probably a bunch of content I mean, for i'm not gonna lie i kind of take it back for alpha this doesn't like i mean of course the the movements and stuff are clunky but the graphics overall uh for being alpha i don't think it looked bad they could polish this easily oh wait we have some combat here i'm actually uh excited to play this okay 
Yeah, I mean the move I can kind of clearly tell like they definitely need to move a little, uh, work a little bit on the movement. It feels definitely a little bit clunky, but again, that's why it's going to probably take like I'm going to be honest, even though this game kind of like looks like it could be done in a year, it's not going to be done in a year. It's gonna, they're going to take a long time. But that is uh, it. So my prediction for release date for this game, uh, I'm going to be honest. No joke. 2040. I'm kidding. That's a joke. But uh, no joke. Uh, if the beta test, uh, the alpha test ends May and they have, they already said that they're going to have two beta tests at least right or two or three beta tests then uh let me see they have a little bit of roadmap don't they let's see alpha test and then they're gonna have beta tests beta test again uh so the beta tests are not probably gonna start until late 2025 so i would think the earliest time we will get this game is 2026 that's my prediction 2026 is the earliest time so still a long time until we get to play this game, unfortunately. And this, uh, we know there's a lot of other uh, games that are also uh, be working on Riot MMO. That's gonna probably release 2040. So we're gonna probably be playing Ashes of Creation until Riot MMO releases, but it's gonna be a while, guys. But that is uh, it for Ashes of Creation. I will be streaming it uh, on my channel on November 8th. You guys can definitely come in and ask some questions, check it out. Uh, or, I mean, if you want to, you can buy the key. I wouldn't tell. I, I, my advice to you guys is don't buy the key. It's not worth it, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy. Check out the video right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.